The hole in the universe is in the heart of man. The mind does not exist in space. The mind exists only in time. But the mind arises in the transcendental being or consciousness which is prior to mind. The body does not exist in time. The body exists only in space. But the body arises in infinite energy which is prior to space. The body-mind or the individual and apparently independent psychophysical being, the ego or I, exists only as a temporary and dependent pattern within the space-time continuum or the vast and multidimensional realm of nature. But the truth condition or real identity of the body-mind and the entire realm of nature is the infinitely radiant transcendental being. If I tried to find some great consolation within the body-mind or anywhere else within the realm of nature, I am confounded and disheartened. All experience is self-limited. All my parts are always changing, disappearing. Every part of the whole is temporary, threatened. There is no immortal in me. I, myself, am always only changing, passing, no matter what my state of experience. I can find no hope in the realm of nature. I find no consolation in any contemplation of myself, however deep or high I look. All I can find is myself by self-knowledge, and I am only changes changing. What hope is there in all my loving and pleasuring, creating and growing, experiencing and repeating? The principle that is I, the body-mind, the idea and experience of personal or independent psychophysical existence is only changing, passing through countless mortal theatres of experience and repetition. Therefore, the principle that is I is unable to provide a basis for any great consolation or immortal happiness. But when I is understood, when personal existence is intuitively recognised and realised to be arising within the infinite radiance of transcendental being, then there is only happiness. Whatever experience arises as the body-mind, when I is spontaneously penetrated and released into ecstasy or identification with the real condition of all beings in all phenomenal dimensions of the realm of nature, then there is liberation from all the implications of psychophysical existence and experience. Therefore, only tacit identification with the radiant transcendental being provides the basis in truth from which I and the realm of nature can be understood. There is a great hole in the realm of nature, and it stands in the heart of the body-mind, at the root of the awareness that is I. This hole must be found by intuitive insight, once I have become disheartened by the fake hopefulness of all experience. When I realise the transcendental identity, then fear leaves the body-mind and humour is restored. 
when I realize the transcendental identity of everyone that is loved and everything that is desired, then sorrow leaves the body mind and happiness is restored. When I realize the transcendental condition of all phenomena, all experiences and all dimensions or worlds in the realm of nature, then anger leaves the body mind and love is restored. So be it.